Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in this session in search engine optimization and in on page optimization we will discuss about URL optimization. What is URL optimization? What are the best practices of URL optimization? How good a URL optimization should look? What is a good URL and what is a bad URL? Let us check them out. What is URL optimization? URL optimization basically means a descriptive URL that gels with the subject of the page. Besides from the home page which obviously displays your domain name, if I click and go to an internal page, the URL of the page have to gel with the subject and the content of your page, the internal page. It has to describe what this page is all about in a short manner and that is the most important factor in search engine optimization. It should include keywords related to the page and in line with the heading of the page. Let us say for example, I have a website and the internal page, one of the internal page of that website is search engine optimization tips or search engine optimization guide. The URL has to be the domain name dot com slash search engine optimization tips. No matter, it does not matter if it is long, but make sure that you give the complete name to it because that is what I am talking about in the content of that particular page. And after URL, the heading has to be the same, search engine optimization tips. And the content that follows, it has to be on search engine optimization tips extremely important. You give a URL that clearly describes to the users and the search engines what this page is all about. That is a descriptive URL and considered an excellent practice, a good practice as far as search engine optimization is concerned. What is a good URL? What is a bad URL? Let us take this example, tutorialspoint.com slash digital marketing tutorials. This is a very good example. Now, if you look at this tutorialspoint.com slash category slash some numbers dot html, this does not explain what this page is all about. This clearly explains what this page is all about. It is good for the users who are browsing through the website. It is good for the search engines which are crawling the website. And this is considered a good URL and this is not considered a good URL. Make sure that you give URLs to each and every page of the website that de clearly describes what that page content is all about. These are some of the good and bad URLs. What are the best practices that you can implement as far as URL optimization is concerned? Make URL readable to humans and search engines. Website.com slash digital marketing training dot html. That is a good URL. Website name dot com slash digital marketing slash category slash one two three four dollar question mark. It does not make any sense. Make sure the readable, it is readable the URL to the humans and the search engines. Use relevant page keywords in the URL. When you are talking on a particular subject on a particular page of a website, that content, that information has to be, that keywords have to be there in the URL. Remove dynamic parameters from the URL. Dynamic parameters when you are building a dynamic website, there are dynamic paragraphs that come into the URL. Make sure that you eliminate them. Avoid using and of the words. It does not make any sense if you use these words. Avoid these words in the URL. Match URLs with the page title and heading. The heading of the page, the title of the page and the URL of the page have to be identical and this is considered a very, very good practice. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is URL optimization, good and bad URLs and URL optimization best practices. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.